Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment. Thank you. One question I've always had is who actually came up with the official Cub Scout knife? And I thought the way you would figure that out is by figuring out who made the first official Cub Scout knife. Uh, because the only place you really see this knife, especially in the uh, earlier years, is um, in the Cub Scouts. You don't see this pattern being used um, in any other knife out there. The only place you see the knife with these uh, middle uh, liner locks for these particular blades is on the official Cub Scout knife. And so I was wondering uh, what company came up with this idea. And um, after looking around for a while, I'm beginning to think that quite possibly this design was developed by the Boy Scouts of America specifically for the Cub Scouts and then the knife was contracted out to whoever made it first. And that brings us to the next question. Who actually made the first official Cub Scout knife? Now, Joseph Richard Kerr's book, 600 Scout Knives, does not give that answer. Um, the book was written in 1997. And at the time, he mentions in the book that... Uh, most people thought that the uh, official Cub Scout knife was only made by Camillus. And that would have made sense because we're talking about pre-eBay and also most of his uh, information was happening right at the beginning of the World Wide Web before the really big explosion of the Internet. So the information was harder to come by back then. And so I could see how a lot of people assumed that only Camillus had been making the official Cub Scout knife and were unaware of all the uh, early Imperial Cub Scout knives. Now Kerr's book uh, does uh, get it right that the official Cub Scout knife probably was not made before 1948. And um, we'll see that the patent for the knife, I'm sorry, not the patent, but the trademark for official Cub Scout knife being used on knives uh, did not actually happen until 1950. So I would assume that probably around 1949, maybe as early as 1948, you have the first official Cub Scout knife, like Kerr said. Uh, but I would lean closer to 1950 for the official Cub Scout knife. And that uh, kind of jives with the um, the knives that you see coming from Imperial because the earliest tang stamps you see on official Cub Scout knives tend to be the tang stamps used by Imperial in the uh, 1950s. And so here we see one, and you'll see this also in my video on Imperial uh, Cub Scout knives. And you'll see it has the earlier uh, shield, which does not have the enamel coating on it. Imperial, Prov, Rhode Island. And this uh, tank stamp was used up until 1952. So very well, possibly one of the earliest official Cub Scout knives. Definitely one of the earliest ones made by Imperial. But the question still comes, was Imperial the first ones to make it or not? And uh, that's what I'm going to try and answer here. And I can only speculate. I've got to be honest. I'm only speculating based on the knives that I've found. Now, for the longest time, the earliest uh, Camillus tank stamps we see are the Camillus with the long line New York, USA. Those are normally what you see as some of the older um, tank stamps found on Camillus made uh, official Cub Scout knives and these are the ones that have that short uh, screwdriver cap lifter. We're all familiar with them and uh, we also know that a nearly identical made knife was made by Imperial. So these were uh, the last of the Imperial knives being made and uh, I, what I had assumed for the longest time the first of the Camillus knives being made um, for official Cub Scout knives. And this is also where they uh, transition from a black handle to a dark blue handle. We see here, same screwdriver, 
almost identical, uh, very well could be identical, even the same uh, pull on it. In any case, we see that uh, there was a transition made to the short screwdriver can opener. Now, uh, in Kerr's book, he says that this happened because the older uh, knives with the uh, screwdriver can opener, um, they caused too much twisting and the knives ended up breaking or disintegrating through use. And that's why they switched over to the shorter uh, cap lifter screwdriver. That might be true, that might not be true. I don't know for sure. Uh, what I do know is the uh, smaller screwdriver takes up less steel, so it would be, uh, when you're talking about mass production of a knife, this screwdriver would be a lot cheaper to make than this screwdriver, so that might also have played into the uh, reason why they transitioned to the shorter screwdriver. But then why did they go back to the longer screwdriver? That's a question for another day, I guess. One of the interesting things about this knife, though, is while it looks like just another uh, uh, imperial knife, we see this one here that looks almost identical, still black handled, Camillus New York USA, an earlier of those tank stamps, and this one is by Camillus, but it looks nearly identical to the long screwdrivers used by Imperial. So, hmm, does this mean that possibly Camillus was making official Cub Scout knives right alongside of Imperial? You don't see a whole lot of black-handled Imperial, I'm, I'm sorry, black-handled uh, Camillus Cub Scout knives. And uh, if you notice, the shield is almost identical too. So it's all very much the same knife. The only difference is a different tang stamp. Um, and this is being made along the same time as the uh, Imperial knives that had the uh, 1952 tang stamp on them. So it looks like even uh, as early as uh, the 1950s, the early 1950s, Camillus was making uh, official Cub Scout knives right alongside of Imperial. And that's not the end of the story. Now recently I came across um, an official Cub Scout knife on eBay that most people, if they looked at it, probably just skipped it right away because it's in just absolutely horrendous shape. Number one, it's missing the, uh, the uh, shield. And then if you notice this blade, it is like worn out. It's just completely gone. The um, springs are worn out. Uh, the tools do not close correctly or anything. And um, so why did I go and spend two bucks to pick up a knife that is in this bad of shape? I mean, it's really just trash. And the, uh, the only reason I was interested in it at all is if you notice, it's got a half stop and it's got black handles. But more importantly, if you can see there, the shield on it, I'm sorry, the tank stamp reads Camillus New York USA. But more importantly, if you can see there, there is a short line under Camillus. It just goes under the M-I-L-L. -L. And this tank stamp was only used by Camillus from 1946 to 1950 which means that this Camillus official Cub Scout knife in such horrible shape actually is as old as any of the Imperial official Cub Scout knives that have the Prov RI shield on or tang stamp uh, and quite possibly older. So this knife could in theory be the very first pattern of official Cub Scout knife actually dating before the very first uh, Imperial Cub Scout knives. And that's why I picked it up. Now the one feature on this knife that makes me think that it predates the Imperial official Cub Scout knives is right over here. And that is the cap lifter screwdriver you find on it. Because uh, it is unlike any other cap lifter screwdriver that you find on an official Cub Scout knife. 
as we know, it dates from 46 to 50, so most likely 49 or 50 uh, uh, being made at that time. And at that time, Imperial was using a long uh, cap lifter screwdriver. And definitely different than this screwdriver. And the later screwdrivers that you see being used by Camillus and, uh, and uh, Imperial, the, the short ones, this is different than that also. You notice it's a little bit bigger and uh, it has more of a tip than the short screwdriver cap lifters you find later. And in fact, this cap lifter screwdriver matches more closely to the cap lifter screwdrivers that, Imper that Camillus was using uh, back in the 1930s on their Junior Scout knives. We see one here. Uh, uh, this is from the Syracuse Knife Company. These were made by Camillus. And if we look at this uh, cap lifter screwdriver and we compare it to this one, we see that they are almost identical in size and shape. And so very likely what happened was Camillus used their existing cap lifter screwdriver that they were using on Junior Scouts and put it in the first official Cub Scout knife. The blade with its half stop, this blade most likely came out of this knife right here. And this is a uh, number 40 jackknife used by the Navy. It's also the number two Boy Scout knife that was first used. And uh, it has a half stop. And always did have a half stop in their easy outline. And so this blade, if we look at it compared to a Cub Scout knife blade, is nearly identical. So chances are what happened was Camillus took existing parts and built a knife to um, specifications that the uh, Boy Scouts were asking for for their official Cub Scout knife. And I would guess that not only was Camillus doing that, but Imperial. And both companies ended up making them. So that's what I think. I think this was probably the very first pattern of an official Cub Scout knife. And uh, around that same time, they came out with the long screwdriver one. Either Imperial or Camillus uh, uh, came up with the long screwdriver. And then both companies went with that. And uh, over time, there were issues with this long screwdriver or just for economic reasons to uh, lower the cost, they went to the short screwdriver. And that might have been a move by Camillus to uh, undercut Imperial on price. And Imperial followed up. There's so many things that, uh, so many unanswered questions about why they went from long screwdriver to short screwdriver. Um, but what it does look like is in the 1950s, and early 1960s, both Imperial and Camillus were making official Cub Scout knives. They might have been taking turns in years or something of that nature. It's hard to say. Uh, we do know that uh, in the uh, 1950s, it seemed like most of the Boy Scouts of America, official Boy Scout knives were being made by Imperial. And that probably had a lot to do with the uh, with the fact that Imperial had the safety can opener, which was probably the best can opener on the market. Um, and they, they had a patent on it, so everyone else was making something similar, but not quite as effective. So Imperial might have had the market on the uh, official Boy Scout knife, and that might be why Camillus was uh, focusing more on the official Cub Scout knife, because it did not need a can opener. And so they may have come up with the uh, official Cub Scout knife, this one, um, and making it first. And then Imperial also started making it because they had a long-standing contract with uh, the Boy Scouts. And eventually uh, that contract ran out and uh, Camillus took over and just ran with it. And uh, underbid uh, Camillus, I'm sorry, underbid uh, Imperial. And continue and continue to make uh, 
the official Cub Scout knife and it didn't hurt that the Camillus knife had the half stop on the main blade whereas the Imperial one did not. But anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, some of it's speculation, but it's based on uh, what I'm looking at in the knives, based on their tang stamps and their dating. And my thought is, Camillus made it first, Imperial followed shortly after that. Imperial owned the market in the 50s and 60s with uh, Camillus making some official Cub Scout knives, but eventually Camillus overtook them simply because they were a, a bigger, stronger company and they uh, ended up running the market uh, for official Cub Scout knives and uh, monopolizing on it from the uh, late 60s all the way up until their closure in 2007. And we'll look at Camilla's Cub Scout knives next. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Knife Chats. And if you did, please like and share it with your friends. Comments are always welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.